Hello a bike enthusiast. In today's video, we'll be walking you through the wiring harness connections for a Motorrad Legend 07 controller to all the components like the motor, throttle, pedal assist sensor, lights, brake levers and wiring harness. In a Motorrad Bikes X2, T-Rex Air, X1 Limited Edition also have similar wiring connection. Whether you're assembling a new e-bike or troubleshooting your current setup, this guide will make it easy. Let's get started, first we will walk through the circuit diagram. Let's start by understanding the overall layout. The battery connects to the controller using a battery terminal, ensuring a secure and reliable power supply. When the battery is mounted, it connects to the controller, providing the necessary power for all the components. Further the controller distributes power and signals to the following components, first the PAS is connected to the controller using a 3-pin connector. This connection allows the controller to receive input from the PAS, which detects the rider's pedaling and adjusts the motor assistance accordingly. The display unit, which shows important information like speed, battery level, and power mode, is connected to the controller by a 5-pin connector. This connection allows two-way communication between the display and the controller. The throttle is connected to the controller using a 6-pin connector. This connector not only provides power but also transmits signals for speed control. Additionally, a blue wire from the throttle is connected to a white wire through a 1-pin connector. This connection is specifically for the horn function. The front and rear lights are connected to the controller using a 2-pin connector with red and black wires. This simple connection provides power to the lights, allowing them to function properly. And the connector with black single wire is left open. There are two similar types of connectors for the brake levers, one for the left brake and one for the right brake. Each brake lever is connected using a pair of black and white wires. When the brakes are applied, these connections send a signal to the controller to cut off the motor power, enhancing safety. Finally, the motor is connected to the controller using a 9-pin connector. This connector is responsible for transmitting power to the motor and receiving feedback signals, ensuring smooth and efficient motor operation. Once the wiring harness at the controller end is connected let's connect the connector at component's end. The two red connectors with two pin are for left and right brake levers. Align the arrows on the connector, and push towards each other unless it gets clicked securely. Next connect the six pin black connector for throttle. Next connect the 6-pin black connector for throttle. Five pin green connector is to connect display to the controller. And lastly 3-pin orange connector is for front light with integrated horn. Once all the wiring harness is connected, connect the battery and check all the functions in a bike is working properly. If everything is working smoothly, congratulations, you have successfully connected all wiring harnesses correctly. We hope this guide was helpful. Thank you and happy riding.